Good morning. It's December 4th, and welcome to Doing Life, daily devotions for finding peace in stressful times. This is the audible companion of the book by the same name, and the music you are listening to was Mr. Rogers' theme from The Piano Project. Today's title is Kindness. Three things in human life are important. The first is to be kind. The second is to be kind. And the third is to be kind. Henry James. I expect to pass through this life but once. If therefore there be any kindness I can show, or any good thing I can do for any fellow human being, let me do it now, as I shall not pass this way again. William Penn. I was walking our dog this afternoon along the bike path near our house. It weaves along an esplanade that is bordered on one side by a relatively busy four-lane street. There are several intersections with lesser neighborhood roads and no traffic lights. Windsor, our labradoodle, is learning to sit at each intersection before proceeding on command. Today, however, exactly like the joke implies, he saw a squirrel and took off like a shot across the road on an extended leash. In initially following, I lost my loafer in the road while reining him in. The car, waiting, could have continued after we passed, but instead the man smiled and waved me back to retrieve my shoe. He then complimented Windsor and commented that when he got even bigger, I might be forced to wear tennis shoes. Another day, I may have told you, a man followed me for at least half a mile, working hard at the pedals, since there was a headwind and I was on an e-bike just to return my bike lock, which had fallen off the back. A little while ago, I was playing fetch with the dog in the backyard, and I distinctly heard a rooster crow. Not at all a common occurrence in our North Dallas neighborhood. I looked over the fence and across the alley, and sure enough, there he stood, on the bank of the stream through Arapahoe Park. I called for my wife to come see. Incredibly, I thought it was a wild chicken, like a wild turkey, right? I mean, I'm a city boy. My wife gave me an incredulous look, pulled out her phone, took a picture, posted it on next door, and quickly found the owner of the escaped pet rooster. I bought a 40-pound bag of wild bird seed this afternoon, lugged it to the register to check out, and the young woman who rang me up summoned a strong young guy to carry it to my car without asking if I needed help, since I obviously looked like I could use it. You probably have to think back no further than earlier today to recall a small kindness that someone paid you. Hopefully, you find it just as easy to remember having done something thoughtful for another yourself. It's not a coincidence that Paul lists kindness as one of the nine fruits of the Spirit, Galatians 5.22. It doesn't mean atheists and agnostics can't be kind. It only means that kindness should flow naturally from those of us who are people of faith and have the indwelling Spirit. It can make someone else's day and cost you essentially nothing to be kind in your interactions with others, whether strangers or your own family members. Remember, too, that a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Proverbs 15.1 Gentleness goes hand in hand with kindness. When Christians are reborn, there are attributes to consciously exhibit. Scripture tells us to put on, quote, tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, and long-suffering, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. Colossians three twelve, New King James Version. Next time you can hold a door, carry a package, let someone change lanes in traffic, let someone go first in an intersection, make a meal for a sick acquaintance, or pay for the meal of the person behind you in a fast food drive through or any of a million other things, just do it. Apologies to Nike. I wonder why it is that we are not all kinder to one another. How much the world needs it. How easily it is done. Henry Drummond. Kindness is in our power, even when fondness is not. Samuel Johnson. Kindness is the language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. Mark Twain. Dear Heavenly Father, we love you. Help us, Holy Spirit, to look at every person with whom we cross paths as someone deserving of kindness, since they're also someone you love and are made in your image. Amen.
We'll see you tomorrow.